Want to play your old DVDs but can't access them anymore? Fear not, I'm Toby from TIJ Education and today I'm going to be showing you with a program called Handbrake how to convert your DVDs into an MP4 file that you can watch on your computer or using a hard drive. Hello there everyone, it is Toby from TIJ Education and welcome to today's tutorial which is going to show you how to convert your home videos, DVDs and Blu-rays if you've got the facility with a Blu-ray DVD drive to convert your old home videos, DVDs, Blu-rays to uh, MP4 format so you can watch them on your computer or on your hard drive, your USB, whatever the hell you want to do with them. Now just a bit of a disclaimer before we start this tutorial, uh, there are a few legal grey areas we do in this because effectively this is it's not piracy but this is what this can turn into effectively you can let's say we have toy story uh you can uh, get your dvd of toy story put it in convert toy story and then upload it to a sh uh, to a site and then that is called file sharing so i trust that you guys are going to use this for your own personal use but for me as long as this doesn't go the wrong way and it's the same as it, it, it is the same as importing a cd for me it's just the same as getting an old CD, putting it in your disk drive and importing it to iTunes so you can listen to it on your phone. I think that they're exactly the same thing. I don't think there's any disparity there. Uh, but to do this, you do need a program called Handbrake. I will leave uh, the link down in the description to Handbrake and also to the files you do need for this tutorial. So firstly, go to the handbrake.fr website. You can just search Handbrake on uh, the net and it should uh, come up like that. As you can see, Handbrake. Dot fr. Now, Handbrake is a completely legitimate piece of software. It's free and it is absolutely awesome in my opinion. So, download Handbrake 1.2.2. Uh, you can know you can just download it all, all done, etc., etc. Nice and easy. And then you get to this screen. So, your source selection will usually have a folder and a file. But of course, today we want to be converting our old, our old home home videos, DVDs, or Blu-rays. So what we want to do is uh, put the DVD in, of course, which I've already done. I am converting today a DVD called Famous Racetracks, which is a licensed DVD. So uh, we are just going to scan that title. We just click on that, scan the title, wait for it to come up. And as you will be able to see in just a second, we will have scanned the title. But if you are using Handbrake for the first time, this won't work on a licensed DVD. You'll get an error message saying we can't do that because it's a grey area and technically it's illegal, which I think is a little bit unfair. Uh, so all you have to do is a little bit of a workaround, and we are using a great article called um, How to Decrypt and Rip Videos with Handbrake uh, by Eric Raisin Ravenscraft from How to Geek. So I'll leave this down in the description. Basically, we need um, a... Basically, it's like a codec. It's like an application extension, uh, which will allow you to bypass the check that Handbrake does for licensed DVDs, uh, and then you can uh, use any of your DVDs in Handbrake uh, to convert them. Now, I will send you the link just to this article. You can either download it in 32-bit or in 64-bit. Now, a 64-bit computer, for those of you who aren't all that tech savvy, a 64-bit is usually a desktop computer, a 32-bit is usually a laptop, but it's not gospel that it's like that. So, if you don't know your 32-bit or 64-bit, just download both uh, and see which one works. But I downloaded the 64-bit one earlier, so we'll show that in folder, and that is now in my music folder. So what you need to do from this point is go to the C drive, go to your program files, depending on which one Handbrake is in. As you can see, this is in my normal hand, uh, my normal program files, and simply just paste the file in here. Now, I've, I've obviously already got it in mine, but when you paste the file, it should be absolutely fine. So after you've done that, you'll bypass the check, and you will end up on this screen. So you'll go, what on earth am I supposed to do here? Well, as a DVD processes, you might have different titles, all that, but as you can see... Uh, we've got all the different previews for the DVD here. So to convert your DVD now, you need to do one uh, one or two things. So if you just check first off, we've got the title now. We've got two different titles here, which basically means we have two different bits of video. For some reason on this DVD, it's just duplicated the video, which I don't really get. But we only need the one video here. But this is more useful for DVDs that, say, have special features or lots of different things on them. I'll, I'll give you an example. I uh, converted a Queen DVD uh, with music videos in it the other day, and all the all the music videos were part of different titles, so I had to convert them individually. But uh, we've only got the one file here, so we only need to convert to the one file. Now, in terms of presets, you can choose whatever you want, but I would go with this preset. Now, if you you won't have this on your uh, handbrake because this is one that I've inputted myself from a YouTuber called Gamer of Fortune. Now, just follow what's on here and just follow all of this. 
Uh, the size will set itself, so don't worry particularly about that. These settings uh, are good, I would say. Uh, I've had no problem with them to um, encode your video, A, quickly, and B, to a good quality. The only thing I might well change uh, is the encoder preset, because I believe, uh, if I'm right in saying, uh, I think if you... Do, 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 I think the faster you go, uh, the basically the poorer the quality will be, but on a quicker computer... Um, you can go, basically on a quicker computer, you can go further down the line. But on a slower computer, you might want to just say, oh, I'm not too bothered about quality. So we'll do it a little bit quicker just to make sure uh, the encoders do. Audio is all in check. Subtitles, if the subtitles tracks uh, will be in there. But you can also take subtitle tracks out by clicking the X button. And you can also put chapter markers on if you wish. So to add something to your queue, all you need to do is go on the save as and click on browse so you know where to save it. So this uh, is called Famous Racetracks, so we'll put Famous Racetracks here, and then we can add this to the queue. If you've got several items that you want to do at once on the one DVD, simply just go to the next title, do the same, Famous Racetracks 2, let's say, uh, Famous Racetrack, well, whatever, uh, we've got it the wrong way around, and then you can add that to your queue, and then you can just start your encoding on your queue. So what we'll do, I'll uh, encode this first file, and then at the end of it, I will show you the end result. The video here is about 60, I think it's about 80 minutes long. Uh, no, it's not, it's 64 minutes long. So it'll probably take me about 50 minutes. It depends on the speed of your computer, how long it'll take uh, for you to encode the file. But once that's done, I'll come back and show you the end result. That wasn't all too bad, actually. It took about 40 minutes to do the file. Now, you can set the queue for when the file has done encoding. We can do nothing like I've done. Uh, shut down your computer, suspend, hibernate, lock your system, lock it off, or uh, quit handbrake. What we want to do is go to the right click and then open the destination uh, directory, which is here on music. And as you can see, we now have our file. I'll turn my audio off, uh, but uh, just a quick display. As you can see, that's all done fine and is absolutely fine. So that's it then for today's tutorial. Of course, if you want to do, uh, if you want to convert more stuff, then all you have to do is uh, open a new source so I put a new DVD in uh, I'll get a DVD from down here just to show you what I mean oh whoopsie daisy another racing DVD but uh, yeah you just have to put a new DVD in and then you can uh, scan that DVD as well so I'll just show you how to do that and then we'll finish off the tutorial but if you have uh, found this uh, helpful I'd appreciate if you give it a like as, as I say it really helped me when I found out how to do this just to uh, get rid of some of my old DVDs. But uh, yeah, make sure you have a like if you did uh, find this helpful. And comment as well. If you've got any problems, uh, leave a comment. Just, uh, and I'll try and help you out. As you can see, it's scanning the new DVD. So if you, like I say, if you want to do multiple at a time, then uh, you can scan the new DVD. But of course, you need had to have uh, the DVD in while you do it. So you can't in so set the famous racetracks one to encode and then enter this DVD because there's no data uh, to encode from. But that's it today, folks, for today's tutorial. I hope you found that beneficial. As I said, if you've got any questions, any queries, leave them down in the comments. But apart from that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Goodbye for now.